Welcome to another Scrap Heap Scavenge, courtesy to all the nice people in the neighborhood who put out stuff they don't need anymore for passer buyers to pick up, like me. First we have a blast from the past. It's a Radix Delta 2002 satellite receiver, analog. And it sports, yeah, would you believe it? Uh, yeah, SCART connectors and yeah, U UHF out for the television uh, antenna in. Yeah, this is terrestrial antenna, I guess. And the satellite interfrequency input. And that's it. I guess we do... Uh, <laughs> separate teardown of that thing here. Uh, by the way, I found a eBay listing for it. Somebody wants 29 bucks. Okay. Um, yeah. Dream on. Analog satellite. Is there any analog satellite transmission anywhere anymore? I don't know. Okay. L put, let's put that out of the way. <sighs> And move on to that. It's an LED lighting system. Very well packed and as far as I can see, complete. All parts included. And it's from, you can't probably read it, but it says here somewhere, IKEA on the parts. So yeah, I will look that up in a second, but first let's <clears throat> unbox it. So we have a rail, I measured it about two and a half meters with seven attachment points for the ceiling and the caps are here, seven of them and seven screws. We have five spots and the housing somehow in parts for the yeah, switch mode power supply. Let's have a closer look at the individual parts. That switch mode power supply is really not that big and it seems to be made in Germany or at least Europe. Uh, 230 volts, uh, that's a sign it's made in Europe, not 220 volts. Yeah, Transfo, Paulmann, Paulmann of Deutsch. Uh, Disk Electronic S105, Electronic Converter. Primary, 230 volts, 0.46 amps, 50 or 60 hertz. Secondary, 11.5 volts, 35 to 105 watts. Power factor, 0.96. So yeah, this is quality. And with all the proof marks here, yeah, it's a good thing. And yeah, <clears throat> the mains AC side and... This here, that clamps to the rail, plus minus, or minus plus, or maybe it's, yeah, it's AC, it's AC output, wow, wow, okay, 12 volt AC. Hmm. Then we have the spots, of course, they have the same clamping mechanism, and since it's AC, it doesn't matter which way around you clamp them on. Yeah, they thought about that. And anything else? Yeah, they, they are uh, flimsy. I mean, it's IKEA and now we can have a closer look at that IKEA label. That's an IKEA type or type in German S0603. And I googled it and yeah, uh, it's no longer on sale. The business end LED spot with a one, two, uh, seven LEDs. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but I said it, it's, it's kind of flimsy. Anything else to clean? Oh, there's a label. Let me zoom down again. Type S, yeah, we already saw that 12 volt max, 20 watts made in China. Okay, that's made in China. 
I wonder if I can get that LED spot out of there or if it's fixed, it's wiggling and yeah, it comes out. Okay, it has a proper socket. I have no idea what type of socket that is, but yeah, from the Mylar coating here, I surmise that this was initially intended for halogen light bulbs. And there's some more information here. Let's zoom. It's a type SO204. Yeah, already read that. Magnesium. And it's a light bulb and it shouldn't be, uh, should be away more than 0.3 meters from the next wall. And some more proof marks and yeah, Ikea number. Uh, okay, I can't turn it anymore. Yes, I can. Sorry. Ikea number 19057. And while I'm zoomed down here, the real surprise are these light bulbs. I mean, they are brand name Philips. And yeah, there we have some more information. Oh, warm glow dimmable, 6.5 watts. 2700 to 2200 kelvins, 370 lumen, 12 volt AC made in China. Oh. I wonder if I can get 20 watt light bulbs. As I said before, these things were probably initially made for halogen light bulbs and they can take up to 50 watts and I have five of them. So 100 watts and that thing here can provide up to 105 watts. So yeah, room for improvement if I can get LED light bulbs with that type of socket, which I have to identify. After some Googling, I found these light bulbs. And by the way, these are GU 5.3, also called MR16 sockets. Anyway, these are Philips Master Spots, 6.5 watt warm white, 370 lumens. You can also get them in cold white, but not in daylight white. They are also available in 8 watts with 670 lumens, uh, but they all have just a color rendering index of 80. If you want a color rendering index of 92 or something, you need to go for the Philips Master Spot Expert Color, also available in 8 watts, but yeah, just 520 lumens. And if you want a lot of lumens, there are also some exotics out there. I found a Canalux AR111 with 11 watts and 900 lumens. Again, coloring rendering index just 80. And I also found that on eBay, you can get still parts used or new old stock for that IKEA magnesium lighting system. But of course the question arises, does it still work? Let's find out. I have to show you the details how these I think it's here connect to the rail. It's uh, yeah, chintzy as hell. I mean, it's Ikea, but anyway, <clears throat> fire in the hole. And yeah, most of them are working. That one is working. That is one is working. That one, that, not so much. That one is that. It's a, I don't know if it's a connection. Yeah, we could measure that. We will measure that. Uh, and that is working. And yeah, three times, what was it? Five point, six point five watts. Uh, not too overwhelming. Let me, I mean, it's still daylight, but uh, let me, 
<coughs> switch off the lights and uh, have a look at the wall they are shining at. Yeah, that's a little bit underwhelming, but then it's only 1500 lumens aboutish from these four working LED light bulbs. Uh, I let the exposure setting at the same level and we compare that with my usual lighting. Yeah, sorry for the flicker. I would have to <laughs> uh, adjust the exposure, which I don't want to, but as you can see, yeah, it, it's overall, yeah, trick of the eye. The eye adjusts to different lighting levels. It's really not that bad. So let's say 10 uh, stronger LED light bulbs. Yeah, you can work with that. Before breaking out my multimeter, I thought it would be easier to take a working light bulb from one of the lamps and put it in here into the defect one to see if it's really the light bulb or the fixture. So, fire in the hole. And yeah, the light bulb itself is dead and that will be another nice... <laughs> Tear down. Yeah, expensive, aboutish, 10 bucks or maybe 8 bucks <laughs> LED light bulb from Philips. Let's see if they are any better than the Chinese made ones. I mean, that is made in China, but uh, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, I said I wanted to show you how chintzy that system is. So basically, <sighs> This is a plastic body that is split in two and this is the power input from the electronic transformer and yeah, it's switched off. And for the power input you have two real screws that clamp on yeah, both sides of the power rail and I guess it's just two bands of aluminium or something. <laughs> or maybe steel, I get a magnet out in a second, isolated by this plastic stuff which goes in, which goes in between. And yeah, <clears throat> there's, it's really just a plastic body split and then held together and with a little bit of mechanical force with that <laughs> plastic nut here. And then you screw that on. And uh, yeah, the light fixtures, it's even more chintzy. Same principle that split plastic body held on with a <laughs> plastic nut. But then inside here, you have some, <laughs> yeah, some kind of contact that is just pressed on with a little spring that is held in by a plastic screw. <laughs> wow! Here you can see it in detail. These are, this is, oh, it's not even really springy. Yeah, maybe to a point. This is some brass uh, alloy or something. And, <laughs> oh, and yeah the split body even longer because, yeah, <laughs> this is, this is, uh, that's so Ikea, isn't it? And yeah, there's absolutely nothing magnetic about these power rails here. So yeah, aluminum, aluminum. That was today's Scrap Heap Scavenge and obviously some teardowns coming up that brand Philips LED light bulb and that Radix Delta analog satellite receiver. Till then, bye.